that's a smart man would have uh, used the same nail. It was the bottom of this one and top or top of this one and bottom of that one. Hey y'all, well we're back here at the property and uh, over the past week we saw that we had some uh, some trespassers. <laughs> so, and the week before I came up here and I noticed some truck tracks coming in. So I put a camera up at the front of the property to catch anybody coming in, in and out only problem with that is we get a lot of pictures of all the vehicles going up and down the road but uh, that's okay I don't mind that but uh, we've got a camera here just sent a notification of us driving up and looks like we got a good picture of us driving up license plate all that so that works good uh, but what we're gonna do today is we're going to put some posted no trespassing signs under surveillance You know stuff like that just to kind of deter uh, People from coming onto our property that aren't supposed to be there. I'm gonna put my number on the sign and uh, That way if you know it I think it's a neighbor. I'm gonna leave a uh, I think I know who it is or who it was uh, I'm gonna go leave uh, my number on his his uh, door, and uh, and then also leave my number on the no trespassing signs. So if somebody does need to get onto the property, they can at least call me and talk to me, touch base with me before I start getting uh, pictures <laughs> and video and stuff of them on the property. That way, I'll know. Anyways, stay tuned. Uh, just kind of uh, come up here for the day. One thing that we did do while we, there were some things that I needed to accomplish. This is a pine farm and I bought it this past year. I needed to get that ag exemption put over into my name so it carries on. I think if I didn't do that, then I would have to apply and it takes, I don't know, a couple of years of applying if I, if it laps. Uh, so I got that taken care of and uh, then I went to the electric company and they sent me over to get a 911 address so that somebody can come out here and give me a quote to run electricity and so what I'm wanting to do is bring I think bring 400 I'm not an electrician by any means uh, so Forgive me if it sounds like I don't know what I'm talking about, but what I'm wanting to do is get a 400 amp transformer put in at the road, go in ground, run over to a 400 amp meter, and then split off of that 400 amp meter to two 200 amp disconnects. And then from there, once I do, once I have a 200 amp disconnect, I can run one to the, to the barn shop area and then part of that barn I want to uh, make a living space just kind of like a cabin eventually would be a guest cabin but for now would be a place that we can go and stay in uh, and maybe do away with the travel trailer because things are cramped in there you know when we come as a family up here it's okay if I'm just coming up here to hunt or something like that for the weekend and it's just me or me and one other person. It's got two king size beds in it. But the living quarters and stuff, it, the weather's bad and we're trying to be up here and hang out and we're stuck in the trailer. It's really tight, it's a pop-up trailer. So two king size slide outs and then the, uh, let me get the sun out of your eyes. Uh, and then a real small living quarters with like a real small bathroom. So I'd like to get something a little more sustainable and permanent out here. 
and then uh, but going back to the electricity 200 amp to the shop and then eventually when we build a house out here I'll have a, a available 200 amps to use just for the house and so I can run uh, if we end up moving out here I can run welding machines I can run whatever I want in the shop and it's not gonna pull from the house and dim the lights or anything I'll have my own 200 amps in the shop barn and then uh, have 200 amp to the house so things are moving along uh, things are looking good I talked to I've talked to my buddy that came out here with the dozer and cleared some of the land I think what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is the front part of this property I'm gonna go ahead and clear it out and put a pond in there I'm gonna take the clay and dirt that's not used and start building a shop pad and possibly a road pad because the roads are roading pretty bad uh, and then go over top of that with with uh, some bigger crushed concrete and then top it with some smaller limestone or crushed concrete anyway stay tuned and things are happening All right, so we stopped by loads on the way up here drove through town when we were getting everything done uh, stopped by Lowe's and uh, picked up some some signs some nails a hammer some batteries we got some uh, some of the cameras that are uh, in need of uh, in need of being having the batteries replaced but this is one of them warning security cameras in use so well, now that we're watching, I'll put this up here and chum, punch some nails through here. Well, we got that one in we're gonna go and put uh, we've got the logging road that goes through our property and a pipeline that goes through our property so we're gonna put uh, posted signs on both sides of each of those So this is uh, where I think that the uh, neighbor might have gotten off of their, their property and on ours or the people who trespassed. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna con try to make contact with them and see if it was them. If so, it's not a big deal, uh, but this is my property and that is theirs. So the logging road comes from here and this is the property line here and the road splits off back this way and uh, and then it also goes this way and all of this over here from this point back is my property and so what I think they did is they probably walked down this road and saw looked around and uh, didn't see anybody and just went to see what was going on. They're probably just curious what I got going on. And uh, so it's not a, a, a big deal if it's just my neighbors coming and seeing what I got on, but I, I'd like for them to, uh, to uh, notify me if they got a reason to come over here or something, let me know. 
and then uh, and then we can talk but uh, I'm gonna put up another sign I don't have a real good spot to put it other than further back on our property over here on this tree uh, and I'm not real certain as far as exactly where the property ends in this intersection here or if it's on the other side but it's right in this area of this intersection according to the the survey it shows that it's right about here going back this way and off into the woods this way so uh, I'm gonna put a sign over here and then we'll move to the pipeline I'll put a couple more signs there and like I said, I'm gonna leave a note with them. Hopefully they'll find it and call me. I did drive over there and saw that they had a house being built. So I'll probably you know, go up to the house and leave a note on the door for them to give me a call just so I can make sure it, that it's them and not just somebody out here doing something that they shouldn't be. So. Never fails. You're gonna drop it now. So, I just checked uh, one of the blinds and uh, doesn't look like anything was messed with here. Uh, like I said, I don't think anybody was doing any, any foul play, they just cross property lines they may not have known that they crossed property lines until they got here but they continued to go down got them on the camera and uh, looks like they walked down the road uh, got a picture of them at like 11:25, and then got a picture of them coming back 10 minutes later at 11:35. so they're probably just walking around seeing what all's going on over here I'm not sure the reason of, of them being here but it doesn't look like they did anything so. so I think this is uh, this is where we and he caught them on camera. I got a game camera set up, looking at the feeder, and I got a picture of them walking this way and then walking back out. I have these set up in various areas. Some at feeders, some not at feeders. I got one monitoring the front, one watching the tractor, one watching the each of the feeders. I've got them kind of scattered out throughout the property, but uh, sometimes I move them around and try to see what animals are moving. So uh, just keep that in mind. If you uh, ever think about uh, walking on somebody else's property, they got cell cameras these days that can catch you and send it in real time. So anyways, come on, we'll uh, put the last of these up. We'll give you an update on the, uh, give you an update on the, the food plot. Uh, they did get hit hard by the by the freeze, but it survived. It looked kind of wilted, but uh, I think with these warmer days that we've been having, it's 67 degrees out here right now. It's a beautiful day. Nice sky, sunshiny, 67 degrees. Beautiful day. Uh, but with this good weather, that food plot should be uh, coming coming back uh, and growing pretty good. All right, so something I wanted to show y'all is we've got these town ants that live here. And you can see this one's carrying like, uh, like a whole kernel of corn on its back. They're big ants. Some of them are carrying pieces of leaves, blades of grass. There's some with leaf, pieces of corn, kernels. And uh, they've got a trail going all, all the way from that deer feeder down there and it comes on down and I don't know how good you'll be able to see it but it's right here and it comes up and you can see it it turns right here and goes into the woods and this path in the woods they got it cuts through the the pine needles and you can see I mean, that's the power of many. Uh, I mean, that trench is probably 
inch and a half deep. And if you look at the pine needles real close, those have been cut like, like a weed eater came through here, but they just pinch it off and carry it away or carry it to their nest or whatever. And that, that trail goes off into the woods and there's no telling where it goes once it gets back there. It could go off on the pipeline down the way, I don't know. But from here to the feeder, that's probably 50, 65 yards that they, they've come. Probably about 50 yards. Uh, and then it goes off into the woods here. But I, I just saw that, I thought that was pretty cool. Figured I'd share it with y'all.